what up, what up? Real quick, um, kind of show you how I get some of the uh, information in terms of how much money the account is worth so that when you see it later in the SEE experiments, I got to come back and show you how I get this data. So it's a site, Kingdom Watch description will be down below that shows you all your information about your account. So here you can see Jewel is now $10.66. Price has gone up quite a bit. And the account now we put in about 2060. Now it's up to 2692. So almost a third, almost 30% profit in, um, in a couple of days. It's not bad, right? So available jewel shows you the log jewel. Um, don't have any heroes yet or inventory. Well, we have in our wallet in the bank was locked and then was in the gardens yesterday i filmed a whole video some people may have saw and, they, and i guess i left the mic muted so i had to delete it i'm gonna redo all the information about do now is about leveling up heroes we're about to watch today leveling up and no well actually about buying your first hero and then um a little bit about leveling a hero my thoughts on that because you know things can be done in a way that make sense Oh, I'm thinking of something different. So anyway, I think yesterday um, in the gardens, we harvest. I, you know, I showed all this. I had harvest, and maybe I'll say that video just to um, put on the end of this the uh, part where I did the harvest. That I'll, I'll, I'll edit that in. Try to do that. Put that at the end of this where I harvest in. I don't know. Was it maybe maybe too much? <laughs> um, and reinvested that money back in the jewel phantom um i harvested uh, that money um the jewel took it and bought split it back in a half phantom and then bought more lp tokens and then put those lp tokens in this farm i think i put like four more jewel phantom lp tokens it was on that video, but like three point something and made it like like four with the, with the amount. So, the, my, my, you know, that's doing well. And so you look here also at the yield farming info. This is in VFAT tools. This will be down in the description below. And you can see they're comparable with how much is earned in their farms. They're a little bit, you know, the timing are a little bit off because here they have Jewel at $10.78. And, and, and I'm, I don't know if it's there yet because if you go look at the different coin gecko and coin market cap they have jewel at different prices because i think only you can only get jewel so far like mostly the vast majority is is on the decks of d5 farms so i don't know if they have a good source of collected data from that not the um, coin geckos and uh coin market caps so anyway that's where the money is the money part of it is at, and, and then the other part of it you see is in the staking that's not added to this this is the staking in the pools and then here you got to look down at what's here and they don't have the locked so that's what you have the differences in amount because they don't have the locked amount nor the um have added what's in your wallet or staking so so that's where that with the money but let's get to today's thing if you're gonna buy your first hero so some little thoughts i have and i'll explain why but we'll go through it once explain it and then go through and you will see it in in detail so unless you have about 40 some 40 to fifty thousand to buy a gen zero right now or you have one then you know this is not gonna be your first that's not gonna be your first hero but you can get for a very good price a gen one or gen two and, I, and you want to get that, and I'll explain why in a second. So you want to look for a Gen 1 or Gen 2, and you want to get some summons. Anywhere between 6 or 7, maybe 5, and then we'll, we'll talk about why. But in, and say you're just buying one hero now. And one hero, you don't care about profession, if, you know, about the whole garden and all that, or combat yet. You don't know what's going to be. You just want to get one person. The best thing you can get right now. So the profession, and I will show what I mean by a capital letter profession in the highlighted green, is not as important, but stats in the main profession for that hero class is very important. We'll talk about that. And you want them to be equal to or greater than 20. So what do I mean by all these things? We'll go through one by one. Let's buy a hero. Well, first here, 
<clears throat> is one other consideration when purchasing a hero. So these are all the heroes that currently exist in the DeFi Kingdoms game presently. Okay, we have eight basic classes, four advanced classes, two elite, and one exalted. You have to pair the correct basic classes to get to have the chance of summoning, bring it in. And what do we mean by summoning? So all of this happens here. You go here to the portal, go to the arch druid, and you say, I want to infuse a crystal. You add your hero. If you had a hero, we don't have any heroes on this account presently. And then you can have, if you have more than one hero that are not related to each other, that are the direct parent child, then because, um, or however you want to call it, um, a hero that summoned another hero, they can't um, summon a hero together. But if you can take a hero and you can go hire a hero and say, hey, look, I can hire. What's the cheapest hero we can hire? There's wizard for 1.5. Well, we can hire him for 1.5. Then he costs. He's a gen two wizard warrior. We're not going to talk much about the recessive genes right now. That'll be a later discussion. We'll keep this basic today. But his summoning cost is 38. So say your summoning cost for your character is, is 30 or 32 plus that 38. Now you're at 70 plus the 1.5, 71.5 to, to summon your hero, which would be yours. So you'll hire this one, use it, and then you'll have your hero and now the summoned hero that you summoned, whatever that may be. Now, if you're going to get a wizard, because you're going to go to the cheapest, you, even at 0.5, even go, well, these are all wizards. What else is that? Wizards and priests. Great Googly Miggly, the floor is wizards and priests? Is that, that's what's up? People don't want summoners or something? I guess. All these uh, uh, uncommons, too. But say it was something different. Do I have, I'm about to say, do I have it? Just like with wizard, maybe I had it like with just wizard and priest or something. Okay, I did, probably. That's what was up. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so the cheapest is actually this warrior for point one and thirty six. So you got your thirty two. Now you got sixty eight point one to summon. But if you're going to use that warrior, then you want to pick a knight. You want to have have a knight character, so you have a chance of a paladin. Because these are going to be more powerful characters for doing professions, doing quests, doing battles. So whatever character you get. You want to pair it with the correct other character to, to tr if you're going to do a summon. And at some point, you may, so you got to think about it long term. And remember, this game will be played over years, so don't be in a rush. To, I got uh, to get a Dread Knight by Christmas. You know, unless you got uh, money like that to blow, then, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult. Then just go buy one if that's the case. <laughs> so, other than that, just be prepared to. Um, you know, take your time with this. So, what character are you gonna get first? Now, look, you may want one of these. Say, hey, I want to, because each of the characters are, you know, well, characters have their class. When you go back here, when I talk about stats in the main profession for a character class, this is what I mean by the mining, guarding, foraging, fishing. Now, we don't know about combat yet, so for now, just build up your character to be good at their class, and also it should probably help them in their combat style. It appears and we will know it's going on. So only one thing that I would say pick first for the first several levels because it may pay off in the end regardless. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. So paladins are the best miners. Sages are the best gardeners and foragers and ninjas are the best fishers. And then so, you know, but those are events classes. Sages are. uh uh, what is it? Is it, is it uh, elite classes? So, OK, let's go step down. Where do we start to get into the basics that we can get? Well, knights are the best miners. Priests and wizards are the best gardeners. Wizards, archers, foragers. Well, our, you know, archers are the best foragers, but they're up there. Thieves are fishers. OK, so we can go in here and say, all right, I see the knight warrior kind of miner. Uh, priest wizard. The other end, gardener, archer, thief are good at fisher. Pirate and monk have kind of got the, the shortest thing, but they're probably better in combat. So, you know, if you got to get them, you got to get them. Don't feel bad about that. And, and, you know, they make ninjas. So 
and ninjas are the, are really good foragers and fishers. So, it, you know, they're on those paths. So they are as well. <clears throat> Fisher, you got here, Pirate 25. So Pirate's not bad. Pirate is here just more middling in terms of what these, but, you know, I don't see them as middling characters. I, um, I think the dev said you'll see their, their, what they bring more in the questioning and, and um, the combat. But anyway, so you go here and say, all right, well, you know, I don't really care. Let's just find the best character. I, uh, or, or, you know, you can say like, look, I really care about guarding or I really care about mining and I may push you towards one character or another. But right now we just go say, ah, I just want the best thing. So we're going to leave here to summoning because we may do that one day, but right now we need a character. Go here to the tavern, over to the agent, to Selena, and say, hey, Selena, I want to buy a hero. So this see you can also sell your heroes or list them for hire for other people to use the summonings that you have. And it will take away a summoning each time you hire it out. You know, it's almost like, I don't want to go <laughs> get into that and be like, hey, you got you to gotta pimp them out. Get, put them out in the street when they get, a, get that back, get, that money, get your money back. But this is about money. Let's, you know, let's stop playing right here. You know, they pimps putting them out here. So right now we're going to go see what the floor is, meaning the lowest price for the cheapest hero you can buy. And the cheapest hero you can buy right now is 37.69, which is almost, which is like, you know, time's almost like 11 now. So the cheapest heroes are still like four or five hundred bucks, dude. It's, you know, look, the game is moving on. Hey, you got to get it. I still think it's pretty early, so... Even with these prices, when in the future, when you when that you know those cheap heroes, and then you know a thousand, two couple thousand dollars, then hey, what we gonna say? Anyway, but okay, so the cheapest hero is a level one. If you're looking at the screen, I'm gonna try to show the information that now I'm gonna show the information that's important and how our decision is gonna be made in choosing which hero to buy, and also when we're leveling, leveling them up what how that's going to be important so we got a wizard which is the primary class wizard archer secondary class so you know if we look here at this lineage it might have it is a a knight and a warrior made a wizard hey i had a knight and a warrior made a wizard too that's that's crazy but so you know this knight this is their parents you can look at their lineage the knight in a little in a Warrior and they, they may have a uh, knight and warrior. I about to say they may have lineage with something else. Oh, a priest and a, and a wizard made that. Um, what's the name? So okay, but anyway, they're recessive genes. We're not go too much into it right now. But it's level one, and here's the XP as it gets to two thousand. Then you can go to. We'll show that the whole leveling part later about leveling them up. But that's level one, and we'll be level up at one point. This is generation three, meaning that the 2000 um, heroes that were created for generation zero will never, you know, those, they were a, a, a limited print. They have unlimited summons. It just goes to a, a cap in terms of how much it costs and how long it takes to recharge for them to summon again, which is, you know, three days. So it gets into the of how many heroes can be created per year. All this stuff is kind of in the code and math. Um, and that's if everybody just on tick, you know, popping like doing it perfect to, to get it there like that, which you know is not gonna happen with humans. So we, you have the generation zero, unlimited summons, generation one, then it goes to like I think generation I seen a generation eleven I think one thing. So, but anyway, the differences in them is how much it costs to summon. So generation zero can go to unlimited. They'll cap at thirty. Um, Jewel is how much it costs to summon in 72 hours. But Generation 1 can only have 10 summons, the most. And they'll start at 16 and cap at 34. Well, the last one would be 34. Wait, is that 10? Yeah, it could be 34. And that's it for them. And it, and it goes down each generation. Remember, each generation. So if you have a Gen 0 and a Gen 1 have a babe or summon something, it'll be a Gen 2. And if it was a Gen 0, with you know, don't matter. And this one was at already five summons, that Gen 2 will be at four summons already. 
And if it was a Gen 0 and a Gen 4, it'll be a Gen 5. And if that Gen 4 had no summon, I mean, one summon left, and you had a Gen 0, it'll be a Gen 5 with zero summons. So it doesn't, you know, the only thing that matters is the, what parent is, I don't want to say least on the table, but further down. And then everything is based off that. It doesn't matter about the other parent up the tree. So when you want to buy, you really want to buy in one or two because it'll be cheaper to do your summons, you know, and you want to get, like we said, have at least um, six or seven summons left. So it'll be a little bit cheaper. And then your uh, the what, what you'll summon to be level three or gen three, not level three, gen three. Very important. So this is a gen three with no summons left. What can you do with this? You can only eat quest and farm. You can't summon other things. So it's three things you can do with your heroes. You can summon other things, which is very important because that can be you can go from spending 50 or 60 to summon to something that's worth a um, thousand jewels. But that's a bit of gambling. So, you know, but it's important. And you may summon you will want to summon at some point. It, it's just the, the, the game theory of it. So it's part important your decisions. And when you make early, get some with enough summons initially. Secondarily. We'll, we'll get to other sort of stuff. And stamina, this is how often they can go do their tasks. It's um, 25 in the, in the basic level, uh, in the level one. And it goes up by one, well, so far, one point per level. Um, it regenerates one stamina every 20 minutes. So that's three per hour. And the entire bar in about eight hours. So you can do all your questing. And I'll show, so let's go to that. So let's flip the card for this one. Let's go back, wait, do we gotta go back? So we were gonna buy this, but we, I would say if we were going to buy this, this is the things we'd be looking at. Then I'm gonna show you for one, we're gonna look at for directly. So I know this is a wizard. It is a level one, gen three, no summons left. And it's, um, the health right here is 100 and the mana 75 health is how much, so let's, show you something real quick as we get to that so exit out of this and i'll come back in a second go here to the bank see micah over here with the question mark above his head and banker micah click on the documents and here in the documents to tell you everything that they wrote the white paper about DeFi kingdoms this is the official white paper go here to gameplay and stats and this tells us all about the stats we're about to look at so let's go back here All right, yeah, nobody, nobody bought a Win Gargagora, Win Gargagora yet, luckily, so we can still look at it. So anyway, the this is, we're going to kind of look at both so you can understand it really in depth and why these decisions that I, I, you know, I make and kind of watching a bunch of videos and reading articles to get kind of get a sense of what may be best in this and, and playing, you know, other games over the years and watching other people and just having an understanding of strategy. So health mana here, you see health is the measure how alive a hero is super important. If they become injured, they will need to rest or use points to recover HP. If this goes to zero, hero can become exhausted or worse. Super important health, right? Hit points, health points, mana points is like the skill points. So if you got an archer, the ability to shoot the bow, if you got magicians or wizards, the ability to shoot magic, how much their mana is like their um, special ability power. I use the cast spells and use skills when this reaches zeros, you know, ninjas probably go have like smoke bombs and stuff. I mean, who knows? Throwing stars. We don't know, but who knows? We better be prepared. When this reaches zero, the, well, who knows is the people creating this game. The hero can no longer use spells or skills till they use a potion. So you want to have as much health and mana as possible because you don't know who's going to be useful in combat yet. So that's the other thing. So we got summoning heroes, professions is what's important, and then it's going to be the whole questing and combat. What do I mean by questing? Player versus environment is what you think of like a Super Mario Brothers game where you go through and you're fighting and you're jumping on top of the the the, the cupolas and you, you're fighting Bowser, that's the environment. Player versus player is like a street fire where your friend is next to you or across the internet or whatever it may be, y'all fighting against another human being controlling the other characters. This game is gonna have both of that. You're gonna have player versus environment doing things where you have your 
character called questioning um, against uh, the computer generated enemies. And also you're going to have interactions where you can um, have competition against other players. We don't know what's going to really be important yet besides what worked in other games. So these are things that's kind of been important in other games. So we want to maximize how much hit points and health hit points slash health. And we want to maximize how much mana we have. And so that's going to be important in our decision making for leveling up our characters. So stamina, strength, dexterity, agility, vitality, endurance, intelligence, and wisdom, luck are the eight stats that are on the back of the cards is important. And then the professions are here as well. So if you go here, we talked about, remember, professions, not as important. But stats in the main profession for a character class are more than important. So what do we mean by that? What are we looking at as an archer or something or wizard? Forget it's a wizard. So this wizard, we're looking for something that's going to be either good in gardening or foraging. So we go back here and see that it's a miner. So not the best. That's why it's so cheap. It doesn't have any summons left. Remember, looking at the list here is Gen 3. It doesn't have any summons left, so that's why this wouldn't be what we would choose. But I'm just showing you what I look at in the card before we go look for what I would choose out of this list. Um, rarity could be important. You know what I mean? Rarity could be important. But the stats in the main profession are very important. So if this is a wizard and we want either a good gardener or forager, well, gardening is for vitality and wisdom and foraging is intelligence and dexterity. Those are the pairs that go together. So mining, you can write this down or, or it's on here. So. And I'm going to all these links, except the only thing that won't be have the links in is when I'm going to show this um, Excel where she has got it. I found this on either somebody's YouTube channel or in a discord and I put the discord. You should join the discord for DeFi kingdoms. Definitely. I'm going to put a video up about really short videos, how to make passwords, how to make a MetaMask, um, join a discord, basic things to use in discord and how to use discord. A lot of people don't really use or understand a lot of this. I hope, I hope watch this video and learn. Because, um, look, that's a lot of money we're going to be making out of this. And I want everybody to be a part of that. You know, I think we we all can make it. We all going to make it. But um, the only thing I'm not going to have is this uh, hero-based stats in DeFi Kingdom classes um, Excel sheet that, you know, here, uh, hero-based stats, DeFi Kingdom classes. So... Oh, no, that, 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 that. But other than that, everything else, the links will be here. So anyway, mining, strength and endurance, gardening, wisdom and vitality, foraging, dexterity, intelligence, fishing, luck and agility. So for this wizard, we look at, okay, gardening first. They have a 6 and 12, 18, not the best. Um, for foraging, 6 and 12. 18, not the best. All right, they're minor, so 8 and 5, 13 is probably what they best in. But, you know, a, a wizard minor, is that any good? No, that sucks. <laughs> so, you know, this one we would not get. So let's look for some we would get. All right, now that you have a little bit of understanding of what we're looking for. And why this is important is going back to the stamina. So like I said, that stamina, that bar there is um, 25. To do one of the quests right now, if you match what that quest is, for example, if we had the mining opening, this wizard could mine at five stamina per. So it could do five quests in one stamina bar. If it doesn't match, and I wanted it to do like, um, right now, either forage or fishing, which we do have, it would cost seven stamina per. So it can do three quests per stamina bar before it had to start recharging. So that's all it how is the stamina in the matching profession. And why I say it's not as important now, it just takes a little bit time longer for your character to level up and get things done because 
you know, it take you just it takes more stamina. It takes uh, more energy for it to do things right now. But that may become less important um, as we go on. And it may not, you know. I'm hoping in my head we would have a chance to level and change a character as we like at one point. We may not. Never know. May or may not. Or, you know, it's just more important to be stronger in its skill set than to be the best at something it's not better at. If that makes sense. You know, I, I don't want it to be the best miner when wizards are not good at mining. I would rather when I, if I was to level this up to work on its gardening skills, the vitality and wisdom and intelligence kind of tree then i would worry about strength and agility i mean strength and endurance those i will level up at some point but for the most part that's not my main concern now another thing to think of if we were going for wizards and why i use this um excel worksheet now watch i click on wizards on here and it shows me what has a high likelihood of increasing from each level so 80% chance of intelligence and wisdom on wizards to increase even if I don't add to them. And what do I mean by add to them? Well, when we level up, and I'm, I guess I'm doing both at the same time. Um, we go to the meditation circle, talk to the esoteric wanderer, enter the circle. You add your hero. I don't have any heroes on this account, so there won't be any heroes. But then you're able to choose, and, and your hero is at the level proper it, you know, reach for the first level, 2,000 experience points to level up. I would been, then be able to choose my my stats to level up. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do level up portion anyway, but this we'll come back to that in a second. I don't want to. Because it's a whole theory craft and I have about that as well. Uh, all right, somebody even cheaper now, a thief. So look, let's flip this thief and see. So the thief is good at fishing, fishing, and secondarily mining. So for the most part, fishing. So this one is a gardener. Okay, so but you see, they have them mostly fishing. Look like they haven't having much they're doing much of anything. Yeah, basically. Either they maybe they just created three or three summons, so not the best. Uh level two, though, 135 health, 40 mana. <clears throat> now a good fisher will have luck and agility. So you see there, luck and agility is at 20. So this is not bad. This is a good fisher. Mining, um, 613, don't care too much about that. Thief will probably also need dexterity. Um, in terms of combat, so that one we all uh, look at, but yeah, so this one I would have it fishing using that seven right now because it doesn't even matter the garden and the foraging. I'm sorry, with the garden not being there and getting a five, um, stamina use per, so you're gonna have to use seven stamina per each time, so you might as well send it as a fisher. So that's the so that's that, but you know, wouldn't buy this one three summons, but not bad. So let's go and find something that we would get. Gen 3. Well, first I will come down here and put it on only Gen 2. So you can you can change a lot of things over here to apply the stats we will do. And I'll show you how. So, for example, say let's go here and say, you know what? I love. I love the idea of being a knight. So I want a knight, paladin, dragoon. And then later on, I'll do this route or, you know, somehow if I want to get a dread knight, get in that route, but I want a knight. And I want and, and what is a knight best at? A knight is best at mining. Uh, okay, yeah, mining and then somewhat of a gardener, but okay. So I can go here and say, all right, generation, I'm not gonna get to zero, but you know, they're way more expensive. I'm not even caring about that. I'm not even gonna see them. Let's do a generation one or two knight. apply and I'm really gonna just you know go for what I want and I so I'm gonna also look for a minor here I went to the attributes tab and click minor and apply so I apply my for the nights now I'm applying further attributes and the cheapest I can get a gen 2 with three summons 
and he's a minor. And he has strength and agility of 20. So this, you know, if you didn't care anything about that much summoning. Now, I say six summons because think right here. You get six right here. You have six. And then when you have the, the kid, you know, it'll have five. Or, you know, you have five chances to make it. But you may get a, a one with five summons. A paladin with five summons. So then you get a dark knight with five summons. You have a dragoon. I think it has the most it can have is like three. So you may have five or four, but then boom, you got three now. You know, the majority, the most it can have with that. And then they have you three chances to get a dread knight. Or you can at least have a dread knight with a summon. But at the end of the day, if you have three here that can have two, you know, a, a paladin with two that it can, you know, have. Summon with another Dark Knight with at least two and get a Dragoon with at least one to give you at least one chance for a Dread Knight. So three is the minimum you ever want at this level to if you, you know, the goal is to one day get a Dread Knight or be able to have a character to get to a Dread Knight. But six, you know, five to six, seven, it's a, good, a pretty good number to kind of give you a lot of chances to get there. So that, that's the thought mentality with the number of summons. But OK, so let's say three. And let's say you even went crazier and said, listen, I want some bonuses and strength and endurance. Now we're talking about 168. This one, look at this, Gen 4. These are not bad. And this one is a rare for 240. And you have a rare knight with mining with bonuses. But oh, this one has agility, but endurance. So 24. And um, maybe this one was just created because it yeah, but barely has any, um, barely has done any um, XP work yet. But yeah, so that's, you know, that's going like to a very specific level, but not going that far. We're just going to say we're going to just, what is the best, cheapest thing we can find that's a pretty good pick right now? So I already know that everything I would buy on here because they're Gen 2 and lower. So now I'm just looking for summons. Who has the most summons, the lowest? All right, so we got this. Oh, no, maybe I reset everything too far. Go over here, I'm sorry. Attributes. I saw that there was a Gen 3 with five summons. I was like, what you doing here? Four, four. So these are four. These are not bad, these fours, but, it, it, you know, for you, for your first win, you say, look, man, I'm not trying to summon a million characters. Uh, this may be good. So, look, you, you, okay, you get the, at 42, you get these priests, got a warrior. So, let's say four. You know, we didn't even say four. but let, Okay, let's just say six. What I was thinking was six. What do we get? Here's a Gen 1 with four. And, and remember the cost of summoning is much cheaper with these lower gens. So that's, you know, save money too when you summon. Okay, how about I say, great, googly moogly. We got a thief, seven of seven, gen two. Look like they're just created. They're ready to level up. Somebody's been, um, um, using them but not level it hasn't leveled them up hasn't used a, a rune on them so it's a gardener you know we would rather it was a fisher you know thief we rather it was a a fisher but okay gardener but how is their fish oh look they got a bonus for oh my god this is me dude I'm like I should buy this 44 jewel uh, they have bonuses for luck and agility so they have fishing bonuses. They just, so this is a, you know, they just don't have it. This would be perfect if it would be a fisher. So this would be good to start off with. So this hero here, what number is this? Four, eight, eight, five, eight. Look, you got bonuses for luck and agility. Oh yeah. Seven of seven, gen two, so. Your jewel cost would be 26 to start off with. And you go down here to 38 at the max. Now, if I was going to level this up, because I'll show you that part as well. My thought process in that. So I bought this card and was going to level this up. 
is I'm very specific about what needs to happen. Why? Because go here to where you read everything. Strength is a multiplier. Okay, physical attack skills. Dexterity plays a lesser role in defense, modifies attack damage for certain weapons. Okay, so like archers, I think like ninjas, uh, pirates probably have like guns and stuff. Maybe even knights with their swords that, are, you know, that agility helps between determines the time between a hero's actions in combat. So they may have quicker or less time with their agility and a role in invasion, be able to dodge attacks. Vitality. This is what I think is the most important attack, um, stat early. Vitality is the primary stat that impacts HP growth and has added benefits to recover for certain debuffs. Primary stat that impacts HP growth. HP is the measure how alive a hero is. So all my characters, all my characters, the first, I don't know, probably five, six, I don't know how many levels, we'll, as we go, we'll see. Vitality will always be the number one thing that I boost up. That's the alpha you wanna go with. Remember that, ingrain that in your head. Endurance as the defense, Intelligence also, and this is number two, adds a multiplier to various actions, especially skills and magic. Leveling up. Vitality is the key stat early to build HP, health points. Next, take care of the main profession for character classes. Intelligence is important for most classes. So my, my thought process is vitality first. Then I look to see, say we're going to do, what is that, a thief? So a thief is probably going to get agility, okay, and a high likelihood of luck more than all the other um, uh, classes, and better than 50 chance of strength and dexterity. So I'll remember that, okay, so boom, those are important things to know. Um, so more than likely is going to get agility and possibly luck, and those is what I want anyway, and I got them anyway, so I'm going to do vitality probably intelligence and then the third one for this one knowing that these two may get it and this one has this blue so it has increased chance of getting lit it will be probably luck anyway where i'd be thinking luck but the fact that i'm not um the fact that i'm getting all these bonuses i wouldn't do luck but luck will be something i would and this one specifically no because of that blue there but if it didn't probably luck would be one of the things i would do for this one but in this case it'd be Definitely vitality, intelligence, and I'm, I'm going between, I'm, I'm, I'm right now between um, wisdom and endurance. And why? Because wisdom also adds a multiplier to magic attacking skills. And thief is going to have skills and also need to be able to defend, have good defense. So in this one, I would, I would, it's a bit of a toss up because of all these other things, but vitality, intelligence, possibly and this one, because Wisdom's at seven, I, I kind of like balance. And those are the things I need. What's the second thing that, what is this? It is a gardener. And what is my gardening um, for thieves? Thief is a better gardener than a forager, but a better miner. So, yeah, either endurance. Hmm. Mm, I probably would do I probably would do endurance for this guy thinking in combat in the future making sure they can last because just just to balance out that wisdom is already at seven and what is the likelihood of wisdom being increased uh not good but endurance uh, both of them low so so wash so that's what would be my decision. That would be vitality number one, and then for the second dairy layer, look secondarily line. The secondary line, which you have a 50-50 chance of them, would be intelligence and endurance. And that's that's how my decisions work. How do I would buy something, and then how I would level them up. Best of luck with everything out there. See you soon. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.